tutorial of 2015. This look is a full-on glam diva look. So if you are looking for dramatic makeup, dramatic eyes, standout cheeks, standout highlights, standout lips, if you really want that eye-catching factor in your makeup, then this is going to be the look for you. I did use a plum tone shadow in the lid and outer corner, so if plum doesn't match with your dress, like say you have like a green dress or a red dress, there may be other colors that would be more flattering for your dress, but that is the beauty of this look, is you can just take the techniques that I show you and use a color that's more flattering. You don't have to use the exact products that I'm using. You could switch it up for something that's going to work for your exact look, and you're still going to come out looking like a princess. When I was in high school, my boyfriend and high school sweetheart was a year older than I was. So when I was a sophomore, he was a junior, I was a junior, he was a senior, and so on. I actually got to go to three proms, so I have all the experience that is necessary. So I'm going to give you a few tips other than just face makeup that will really benefit you when you go to your prom. So if you want to see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. If you're going to curl your hair, I would definitely recommend using second day hair like I am here because with more texture in your hair, the curls will stay in much longer. And I would also definitely recommend using a primer no matter what your skin type is before your foundation. It'll just help it stay on much longer. And today I'm using a lip scrub and a lip mask just to make sure my lips are extra smooth. And before I apply my foundation, I'm going to use a green concealer just to hide any redness on my face. And for your foundation, I would definitely recommend using a high-end foundation because it's not going to have fillers. And also, you'll want to avoid a mineral foundation because any foundation that has a lot of fillers or any reflective mica, which is what is used in mineral foundations, then that's what's going to give you the flashback and a white face in flash photography. Also important for a look like this is to hide any dark circles with a concealer under your eyes. And then I'm going to take this MAC Prep and Prime pen. This is in the color Light Boost. It's a yellow, greenish yellow color, and I'm going to highlight my face with that. I do have a full tutorial on how to cream, highlight, and contour, so I'll link that down below. And then I'm going to set that with a translucent powder. This is the Bezam French Vanilla Translucent Powder. I'm actually going to set my entire face, and unless you're really super dry, I would definitely recommend setting your entire face with powder. That's going to keep everything on much longer. And for my contour today, I'm using this cool bronzer from e.l.f. And this is actually a really decent bronzer. Now this is not a color that you would want to use as just a regular old bronzer. This is definitely more of a contour color. Now if you want to actually just bronze, you'll want to take a warmer color. This is more of a golden tone. This is the warm bronzer from e.l.f. And I'm going to use this as well, just to help blend out the contour and warm up my face. And a quick tip, if you're having trouble getting a really sharp contour, you could take your highlighter and make a straight line underneath it and then blend it out really, really well. And that will give you that cut bronzer on your cheeks. And for my blush, I'm using this Milani blush. This is in the color Bellissimo Bronze and it has a gold reflex. So it's going to have a little bit of shimmer. And then for my highlight, I'm taking this cheek palette from NARS. This is in the color Jubilation. And I'm actually going to mix the two colors together. And I'm going to pop that on my cheekbones, down my nose, and you can tell obviously I really like this highlighter a lot. And I'm pretty much just going to put it everywhere. And just as important as priming your face is priming your eyes. And my favorite primers are the MAC Paint Pots. You can apply these with a brush or your finger, it doesn't really matter. And for my transition color for my shadow, I'm using Birkin from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And on a fluffy brush, I'm just going to dust this back and forth in my crease using windshield wiper motions. I'm also going to use a smaller brush to get that on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to focus on the outer corner with this darker color. This is Beauty Mark from Anastasia. And this is where you can actually change up the eyeshadow colors to match your dress. You don't have to use this exact color. Just make sure anytime you add an eyeshadow, you'll want to blend it out afterward. 
And I'm actually taking that same cheek palette with a flat brush and I'm going to use the more peachy tone for my lid color. I'm gonna pack a little bit on there and then spray my brush with some Fix Plus and that's really gonna help enhance this color, make it a little bit more dramatic. This next part is optional, but I'm taking a metallic purple color. This is Rosette from Anastasia and I'm going to use it on a slightly smaller brush and I'm gonna use it to blend the darker purple color and the metallic color on my lid together. Then I'm also going to blend that down onto my lower lash line just to help balance out the darker color on top. Then we'll want to make sure we highlight our brow bone and our inner eye with a dramatic look like this. I'm using the color Bling from Anastasia. It's just a shimmery white. And then at this point, I'm gonna set my entire face with my setting spray and I'm doing it now because I don't want to get my false lashes wet later on. For brows, I'm using my tried and true Anastasia Brow Wiz as well as the Ardell Brow Sculpting Gel. It's just a clear brow gel just to keep my brow hairs in place. And with dramatic makeup, you really don't want to neglect your brows, otherwise the entire look is going to look unfinished. So you definitely want to get something in your brows. And I'm going to be doing a wing for my eyeliner. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I'm just gonna use that to actually outline the wing itself and find the shape that I want. And then I'm going to use the NYC Liquid Liner just to fill it in. This is totally optional. You don't have to do your eyeliner this way. It's just what works for me. And then I'm gonna pop a nude pencil on my inner waterline just to make sure the eyes are nice and bright. And also put on a little bit of mascara. Nothing too dramatic because I am gonna use false lashes, but if you are not using false lashes, you'll want to make sure you put at least two coats of mascara on. Then of course, as soon as I start messing around, I get mascara in places it shouldn't be. But as long as you just give it a minute to dry, it'll come right off with a spoolie or a brow brush. And for false lashes, I'm using the style Foxy from Coco Lashes. These are very, very dramatic and they're my absolute favorite right now. Moving on to lips, you'll want to take a liner very similar to the actual lipstick color you're going to wear and fill in your lips entirely. And this part's optional, but I'm taking a slightly darker lip pencil and I'm just gonna fill in the outer corners just to give my lips a little bit more depth and dimension. Then you'll just take your lipstick and go over the top of that. Now here's a secret. Once you have your lipstick on, you'll want to take a translucent powder and tap it over the top of your lipstick. And then you'll want to go in with one more coat of lipstick. And this is going to help keep the lipstick on much longer than had you not done this. We are done with the makeup. We're moving on to the body now. What I would recommend is taking a lotion or body cream and mixing it with a liquid illuminizer. This one is from Gerard Cosmetics. It's the BB Plus. And I'm gonna make a 50-50 mixture out of two. And this is just gonna create a shimmery lotion. And if you're wearing a shorter dress, you can run this up and down the front of your legs to give yourself Victoria's Secret legs. And you can take the rest of it and mix it on your arms, your chest, and if you pop a little bit on your collarbone, that's just really gonna give you a really nice glow. Now, of course, 99% of girls are gonna wear heels to the prom, so to protect yourself from blisters, take the Band-Aid Friction Block Stick. It's just like a miniature deodorant. You roll it up, and then you'll wanna take your shoe and find out where exactly on the shoe it's gonna cause blisters on your foot. So for me, it's the ankle and toe area, and then also on the very back top part of the shoe. So once you've figured out where it's gonna cause blisters, you'll wanna take that friction block stick and rub it all over those areas nice and generously. And I have tested this thing out in Vegas multiple times and never gotten a single blister. So it is my tried and true foot protector. And my final tip is not to wear too many statement pieces when it comes to jewelry because it looks really busy and it can take away from your overall look. So you can see here, I just have on one ginormous statement pair of earrings. So as I mentioned earlier, I have been to three proms myself, so I consider myself to be somewhat of an expert. And that's also three years in a row that I've had friends go to prom as well. So I've kind of learned a little bit from their mistakes. 
Number one, do not drink and drive. If you're going to drink on prom night, which I would not recommend because you are not 21, but if you insist on doing it, do not drink and drive. Also, do not get into a car with somebody else who has been drinking and is choosing to drive. It's not worth it, it's not worth the risk, it's not fun, it's not edgy, it's not cool. If you drink and drive, you are not only putting yourself at risk, but you're putting everyone else at risk that's in your car and everyone else at risk on the road. So it's just not worth it. Get a ride, take a limo, take the bus, do whatever you have to do, just do not drink and drive. And my final tip for prom, don't let a boy make you cry. I promise you there are much bigger things in this world that are waiting for you than what you have going on in your relationship or on that date or at prom or even in high school. There are much bigger things that are waiting for you. Don't let some stupid boy ruin the night for you. Don't let him make your mascara run. You should be wearing waterproof though. Definitely wear waterproof. That being said, don't let somebody else ruin your night. Enjoy yourself, make good memories, make good choices, and thank me later. And that is going to bring this prom tutorial to a close, you guys. I hope you learned something new today. If you are not subscribed to me yet, go subscribe right this instant. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!